ready to pick up and knit the stitches around the neck to make the collar. And I usually use a 16 inch circular to do this. Um, you can use one size down from the needle size you used to knit your sweater, just to make it a little easier to get into. But if you don't have a smaller size, the size you used will work too. But get your yarn ready, because you're going to use a new yarn tail to do this. And I usually start at one of the shoulders. So I'm gonna start over here today. And what you're looking for is your columns of Vs. There's a column, there's a column of Vs, there's a column of Vs. You're gonna insert your needle into the middle of the V, catching both legs of your bind off above it. And you're gonna take your new yarn, leave a nice long tail, and you're just gonna pick up and knit that stitch into a new collar stitch. And we're just gonna go around and keep doing that. And so into the center of each V. So here's my next V that I'm going into right there. There's my next V I'm going into. There's my next one. Then it looks a little different for your raglan right here. So I'm going to go into the center of that, which is an upside down kind of V. But I'm gonna make sure I catch both legs above it. That didn't work. There we go. And then you're back to your Vs. So now I'm gonna be going across the back of the sweater. So finding my next V, we're gonna skip this little area here because that'll kind of bring that together. Here's my next V, catching both legs. And I'm just gonna keep going across. So once you reach this front neck edge, there's gonna be these two spots where it goes down diagonally, and then this, this nice spot in the middle where it's just flat, straight. And these stitches are gonna look weird, because they are. <laughs> so when you get to this, um, you're gonna see kind of some Vs going this direction, and you're just gonna kind of, with this bigger yarn, so you're just trying to do the best you can and keeping it kind of consistent with what you've been doing over here. So I'm gonna see this little V right here, I'm gonna grab under here. This one right here. This one right here. And I'm just gonna continue across to the other side. And now we're back to these diagonal strange stitches. So I'm gonna grab underneath them without splitting my yarn. And then we made it all the way around. You just kind of want to look back and make sure you got kind of an even thing going. And these stitches that you picked up, they should look like they're coming out of the Vs. That's what you want, because that's going to continue that look through the collar. Now you've got this cute, nice little collar shape going. You'll see it better now that, you know, before you do this, it kind of looks all stretched out and wonky. But that weird part kind of just goes under now nicely. And now you're going to knit your one by one rib around the collar. And so you are gonna to wanna to count at this point to see if you have an even number of these stitches. 
and if because the one by one rib needs an even number to work correctly. So if you have an odd number, just knit two together as you begin. And you're gonna to wanna to put a stitch marker here now, right here to mark the beginning of your round. And then you can just work in one by one rib for the number of rounds it says to work in your pattern. And then you're just gonna bind off loosely after that to keep it elastic so you can get it over your head. And then I will meet you back here in the next video to go over how we're gonna weave in the ends for the underarms and the cuffs. And I'm gonna show you another technique for weaving in ends on the inside of your sweater just for the stockinette portion.